Okay, this is one onion. And this this onion, whoo, I got it at Kroger's and it is hot. If if you could only if you were only near, this thing would be burning your eyes too. It probably is trying to burn your eyes from where you're at. That's how strong it is. And I'm gonna add a pound of hamburger, but if you have Italian sausage, you can also add Italian sausage to this recipe. Or you could do two onions and two pounds of sausage and kind of double this, but it's just the two of us. So I don't need to do that. Just this amount, I, I'm making enough that I probably will probably give, give some to my husband's friend for his trip this week too. Which if we have too many leftovers, that's what we like to do. We pass it on to, we either freeze it or put it in my bud, in dad's buddy's truck. Cause you know, that's just a nice thing to do. Hamburger's getting cooked. Now we're gonna add some spices to this. Cause you know, if you are going to use pasta sauce, you don't have to add all these spices. But I am, I have a ton of whole tomatoes that I can make my own sauce. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna start out with a table, a tea, a tablespoon of Italian seasoning. Man, did I pack that in there. There we go. And I really like the roasted garlic, so I'm going to add in a tablespoon of roasted garlic. If you can also use garlic. And I'm going to put in a teaspoon of, of Mrs. Dash because we don't use salt in this house. So if you don't use salt, you gotta enhance the flavor another way. And then of course, black pepper to taste, which we love our black pepper. My husband's not one to season very well. And then he married me. And he goes, I don't know why your stuff tastes different than mine. Yours always tastes better. And I tell him, I said, honey, I season stuff even though I don't use salt. And it makes a difference in your food to have seasoning. Okay, we're going to add, I have a ton of whole tomatoes that's canned, <laughs> so we're going to add two quarts of whole tomatoes, because I have a ton. Last year, I think I did a hundred quarts of whole tomatoes, and I haven't got rid of those yet, and we're going to add... one little can of tomato paste. Like I said, you could just do uh, spaghetti sauce, pasta sauce, but we're gonna do it homemade because we have all these tomatoes and we need to get through some of them in my pantry. And this is soup timber, so might as well do it homemade. Okay, take a little bit of your beef broth, because we're going to put a whole container of beef broth, and kind of swoosh it around 
and clean out your can so we, you get rid of it all or the most of it so you're not wasting any. My husband got these by accident at the grocery store a little while, well, probably six months ago, so might as well start using those up too. And then we're gonna add a whole container of beef broth. You could also do chicken broth, it's what you have on hand, or vegetable broth. Like I said, it's one of those what you have on hand deals. And then we're gonna stir this up and we're gonna get our chopper in there and chop those whole tomatoes. You can even go in with an emulsion blender if you wanted to. I just chop them, cause it's more fun. Don't forget to turn your Instapot. If you're making, do an Instapot, turn it down from sear to slow cook and set it for four hours on high. If you're doing a crock pot, you would have done your beef and your onions in a skillet, and you would set your slow cooker to high for four hours or low for eight. Okay, we are at that point where we need to add one container of one container of ricotta or cottage cheese. And I just happen to have cottage cheese, so that's what's going in next. Give that a stir. Then you can add one pack of lasagna noodles. I have rotini. I'm gonna use that in our soup today because I have a lot of it in my pantry. That's what we're gonna use today. But if you have the lasagna noodles and wanna break them up, you can do that. Then we'll leave this cook for about a half an hour and then our soup will be done. Okay, I forgot to add, we're going to add a half a cup of Parmesan cheese. Because my husband likes it. And I haven't been feeling really well, so this might be a dish just for him. I think I'm gonna stick to egg drop soup and stuff that's a little lighter on my stomach, chicken noodle soup, for now. So this is for my husband. Yep. All ready to enjoy.